Hey guys, Karex here with another review. This time I'll be doing the Duo Cube 123 Dobut Gattai Deluxe Duo King from Dobut Sentai Duo Gear. This is the main mecha of the Duo Gears, piloted by Duo Eagle, Duo Shark, and Duo Lion. This set includes four things Cube Eagle, Cube Shark, Cube Lion, and the Big King Sword. So let's get started. To start, we'll look at Geo Cube 1, Cube Eagle. So, all Geo Cubes naturally start off in Cube Mode. Well, they are these simple blocks, each one with their number on the front. But, while they are simply cubes, they do have a lot of intricate details molded into them. See a lot of panel lining on the front and the sides. as well as part of the design of what will become Geo King on the back. On top and bottom are the connectors. And one thing to note is that although there's a hole going right through here, that will still be there when it's transformed into animal mode. In the show this has a turbine there, as it's supposed to be kind of a, com a combination of an eagle and a jet. So transform it, take this notch down here, pull it forward, and that'll cause the wings to flip out. Then fold out the wing tips. And there you have Cube Eagle in animal mode. So obviously with these starting out as cubes they naturally have very blocky designs. At the same time they're also rather stylized. As you can see there is this very angular head here the white for the top of the head and the gold beak. Also some nice green eyes with a little bit of detail in there for the iris. Even some more detailing on the inner parts of the wings. And even inside these uh, hollowed out parts where the uh, what will be the fists for Joe King flip out, flip out from. You can see there's a big fin on the top. That is probably representative of its tail feathers. And then this very kind of pixel looking pattern going along the back. Obviously this isn't the most realistic or most aerodynamic eagle, but for what's worth it works. Next is Geo Cube 2, Cube Shark. So starting off in cube mode, it of course is once again very simple like Cube Eagle. But it's got it being blue instead of red, have the number 2 on the front. And it does have a different design in terms of the patterns on the front and sides. Which again is some pretty intricate detailing. So the top and bottom and the back, which will become the midsection of Geo King. So for this one, to transform it into animal mode. I'm going to pop out these two parts from the side, and bring them together to become the head of the shark. And I'll pop out this part in the back, and you pull that out to become the tail fin. And there you have Cube Shark in animal mode. So for this one, the more blocky, stylized look works a little bit better. It certainly looks a little bit more like a shark, and there still is a lot of detail here. You see some white along top of the head and on the teeth, red for the eyes. Then once again a lot of intricate detail molded onto the sides, even some details for gills. Two fins on either side, the back tail fin which has more detail to it, and then the dorsal fin which pops out from the top. Overall this does look a little bit more like a shark than Cube Eagle looks like an eagle. And this is probably, overall, the one that comes out looking the best. And 
And last but not least, we have Geo Cube 3, Cube Lion. So, obviously this one is yellow. has number 3 on the front. And once again, you can see some nice intricate detail. And for this one, there's a lot of indented details. And this is perhaps the most intricate out of the three of them. There's some black along the sides and on the back. You can see that this will become the bottom of Geo King. So, for transformation, we're going to start by taking this part and pulling it up. And, as indicated by the arrow, we're going to flip up this top panel. And there we have cube line in animal mode. So this one is perhaps the one that looks the most silly. As you can see, the head is just on the inside of this front panel. It's very square, but you can still see the lion's face, teeth, and, of course, the mane. It even has cute little ears. Once again, you've got a lot of nice intricate detailing, even in the eyes. And see here that now these two fold out to become the front legs and the back legs. Still, I do think I like it uh, probably the most out of the three. Though I do have a bit of a bias towards lions. But it still looks pretty good. So finally, we're going to combine them together. Start. Turn each one back into its cube mode. Then, stack them together in reverse order. So, you go three, two, one, and then rotate them around 180 degrees. Finally, we'll bring in the king's sword, the, or rather the big king's sword. This is this long cylindrical sword, which has some intricate details on it. And this top piece, which will become the head for Duo King. I'm going to take it and drop it down, which will cause the arms to pop out. Then, flip up the head of the eagle. Rotate it around uh, this handle on top to reveal the face. Then pull out the king sword, which will become the weapon. And there you have Duo King. So, overall this does have a very simple and blocky design, but one thing you'll notice is that this is also very stylized. Everything looks very much pixelated, which is especially which is especially noticeable with the design of the helmet, as well as the V pattern on the chest, and the smaller V patterns on the knees. It overall looks like it came out of a video game, which seems to be intentional, especially going by how the bad guys use continues to make their monsters grow to giant size via small coin slots. They overall have a video game theme as well. not too much to see on the back, but you can see that it all connects together pretty well, and it does display the three animals prominently. You have the eel head here, 
a shark face here and two line faces on each leg or one on each leg. Although articulation is rather limited because of the design where the only real rotation is that you can rotate the arms around 360 degrees. But it certainly is interesting the way it's designed and the way it transforms. And while that's all it can kind of do on its own, there is more that we'll be able to do with for the max. As far as it goes, I would say I like it. And there we go. So overall, Yo King is a simple but fun mech. While it is rather blocky and it is simple in design, the fun part is that with the way it's designed, you can transform the uh, Yo cubes from cube mode to animal mode to combined mode and do it all within mere seconds. And I think that does have some appeal to it, as you don't have to go through you know kind of long intricate steps and you can kind of just fill around with it as you please. And while it is a similar design also in its combined form, it doesn't have much articulation, I do appreciate that, to go along with the blocky design, they gave it a kind of pixelated video game style. And something to note is that this is a mech that benefits from having further mechs in the line. And that's the reason why I held off until this time, as I also got Geo Wild, as well as the two weapon Geo Cubes, which I'll be reviewing in the near future. So I recommend picking this up if you plan to also pick up further mechs, as as you'll see from my later reviews, it does improve as the line goes on. So next time I'll be reviewing Conrad Deep Spectre from the Ghost King series. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And you can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash krx50. And for now, this is krx50, riding off.